Welcome to Upgrade. I'm your host, Frank the Tank, and today I bring on a hub switch for two different um, displays. So we're going to take a look at it and see how well it works. Uh, on top of it, we're going to try some testing on this and see if we could get it to multiple displays, two displays actually. And we're going to try different things that you have, probably haven't seen in any of the shows. So we're going to use this unit itself. And as you can see, it's a small little box, nothing fancy, nothing big. We're going to open it up and see what you get when you purchase them like this. So let's go ahead and take a look at it. So we're going to try to display a lot of things from this little tiny device. I mean, this is a great little thing. You select your different components and your output, your input, and that's pretty much what it is. So this is a 4K unit. So let's go ahead and set it up. And on top of that, you don't even have to be near it. So perfect. Look at that. And so right here, if you guys can see, this is the power source right here and you have the two outputs. This is where you're going to display the stuff. And then you have four inputs, one, two, three, and four in the front. Um, so this is convenient in case, you know, you have to run some cable through the front. Now, if you do lose some remote control, you can't find it. You can use the buttons here to select the items. Very simple display. So select B and select A. And it tells you one through four, one through four on the displays, all right? So wherever you connect your output is gonna display too. But you could change it from vice versa. And we're gonna have two monitors here so we could demonstrate too. So we're gonna have this one and then I'm gonna plug in one next to me, all right? Find a connection, it's simple. This is uh, actually, this one's five volts. So this can work on your actual TV if you have a USB to power it up or anything that could power it up. But right now we're gonna power it up here. We're gonna plug it in. All right, we're gonna plug one in output here. If you guys can see, I'm gonna do it on output in a B, all right? So we're gonna put on B and this is gonna be B. And then we'll do A right next to it. So let's go ahead and do that. All right, so we just power it on right now. There's no power indication that it's on. It just shows you a little light that's on one. And one is right here. If you notice B active, so you wanna change it to the device, you hit it on here. And right now we're on B1, so we're going to be on here, and we have nothing control to control in there. So let's go ahead and plug a couple things in. Let's control a PlayStation 5 to connect it to there. All right, here we're going to plug in our PlayStation 5 right now, and it's going to go into input 2. I'll put B, so we have to go ahead and change it here where you guys see it to number 2. And that's it. Number 2. And we're going to go ahead and crack it up here. And you should see it right there. I'm in. Audio is perfect. Hit OK. So we're going to connect another one. Here's another connection. I'll put it, if you guys notice, we put it here. And this is going to be number three. Number three here. All right, we're going to be on app, an Apple computer. We're going to set it up to also share it. And we can get more inputs in there. So that's what we're going to do. All right, we're running out of real estate here, but we're going to try to get everything in there. So we're going to put an apple here, go ahead and turn it on, and we're going to crank it up right now. So if you guys can see, I got my actual apple displaying this system here. Uh, this is control, and then we have our PlayStation control that we could always go into it right now. And if you notice, it just went blank in here. Two is going to be the PlayStation. If you guys notice, here it is, the PlayStation. Now... We're gonna display this into a secondary machine. So we're gonna display this PlayStation. We're gonna go in here and we're gonna go into input A now. So we're gonna go input A, change it to number two, if you guys notice that. And we're gonna go ahead and the monitor here. Number two, we change it to HDMI. We're displaying a different monitor and there it is. Changing it, if you want it, this is a PlayStation on this monitor here. And we're going to change everything that we've done, the same thing. We're going to change it to another system here. We're going to change it to another one. And that's the PC. We're going to change it again. And this one right here is the actual Mac that we're going to do. And it should be coming up in a bit. There it is. So all the devices were able to input into the system. And very simple to control. Very easy to move around. Besides the beautiful thing about sharing, I'm sharing the PlayStation five on this system and i'm also saying it at the same time in this monitor using this two system so this is not bad this one actually works really well um this is the playstation and of course this is a playstation 5 that we have connected already and i'm also sharing in this screen now besides sharing let's let share the two screens this system so we're gonna do a number three i'm gonna push number three it's gonna go with number three it's gonna change it right now to that system right now. So it's gonna pick up the, from this system here, 
automatically picks up on that system in five seconds there you go see it just takes a little delay on there so now we got that one and we're going to also share the same one the same screen not only there but we're also going to share it there at the same time so we change this one to the next one and it's going to try to pick up so it's going to pick up this monitor it's going to switch it convert it to this monitor it takes like maybe five seconds there's a delay once it gets there and then it converts it to this one and it automatically here we have the same monitor so we're displaying here we're also displaying in here so we're sharing these things and like i said we can always go back with the remote and share different mo monitor modes so we're gonna go back to the PlayStation on both of them and PlayStation goes on there. We're gonna go in here. PlayStation's on that one. There's the PlayStation. We got it there. And it's gonna come out in here like it takes like a second or so. So but there's a little delay. You guys can see the PlayStation right there. Perfect. And here's the PlayStation on that, all within the same system. So 4K works really well. I am using a 4K monitor on that one, a little tiny little monitor, but it's a 4K display portable. Uh, I made a review of that one, really awesome little device. And then this device, we just demonstrate a couple other things that you connect it, but you can display on two different monitors like this one and this one the same content and like i said right now we have playstation 5 i'm gonna move the keyboard here or the mouse i mean uh, moving it i'm moving it here if you can see that playstation 5 we're moving it more awesome i like it so if you guys like stuff like this let me know i'm your host frank the tank and we are out